hi guys this video is about the introduction to VXLAN VXLAN will be used in data centers so VXLAN provides large number of broadcast segments as many as 16 million segments using VXLAN data traffic will be forwarded loop free how it will be different from traditional L2 networks that we will discuss in the subsequent slides. Data traffic using VXLAN can be load balanced on ECMP that is equal cost multi parts. VXLAN is ITF standard RFC 7348 virtual extensible local area network the terminologies I am going to define VXLAN means Virtual Extensible Local Area Network VM Virtual Machines VNI Virtual Network Identifier or VXLAN Segment ID VTEP Virtual Tunnel Endpoint or VXLAN Tunnel Endpoint an entity that originates and or terminates VXLAN tunnels Why VXLAN? A physical server in a data center can have multiple virtual machines as many as in millions with its own MAC address. Current limit of 4094 that is VLAN limit of 4094 is inadequate for such a huge number of VMs when traffic isolation is required between the group of VMs across the data center. Further, to avoid loops, STP blocks redundant links connected between the switches. This is problem since data center operators pay for each and every port. In STP, between the switches only one port at a time can be forwarding or else with all other will be block in block blocking state. Further using STP, one cannot achieve load balancing of data traffic on equal cost multiparts. With current L2 model, all the switches in data center must have to learn all MAC addresses for proper forwarding of traffic. This will sometimes over flood the MAC address table of the switches. VXLAN is a overlay technology that works on layer 3 underlay. Here the VTEPs which are the which are originating and ending a VXLAN tunnel is a hybrid switch or router. The ports which are towards the VMs are layer 2 ports and ports which are towards the core are layer 3 ports. A native or original data packet will be encapsulated with VXLAN and IP headers in VTEP. A VTEP is a device that supports VXLAN. They can be end hosts, VMs or network switches or routers. How exactly the encapsulation happens? A VTEP will encapsulate a data packet by adding number of field as below outer destination MAC address MAC address of the tunnel end point that is VTEPS MAC address where the tunnel ends outer source MAC address where the MAC address means where the tunnel originates the MAC address of the VTEP where the tunnel originates outer IP destination address IP address of the tunnel end point that is VTEP Usually we use loopback addresses <coughs> as the IP address for the tunnel endpoints. Outer IP source address, IP address of the tunnel source we tap and outer UDP header. Here the UDP header will be used for load balancing over ECMP on the core routers. A VXLAN header that includes a 24 bit field called VNI that is VXLAN network identifier. This 24 bit will provide as many as 16 million broadcast segments. For further videos, please subscribe our channel.